My research is focused in humanitarian engineering, which really deals with the application of technology and infrastructure to support marginalized and low-income communities, trying to understand how we can assist communities recover after disasters and also prepare for these events. And I've had the opportunity to work in you know, a number of different countries, everywhere from the Philippines to you know, Bangladesh, Samoa, in India, in Myanmar, um, so all over the world. We're doing a lot looking at flood preparedness and flood risk reduction. And increasingly that's looking at how climate change is impacting those hazards. And then how do we think about designing and building our infrastructure so that it's prepared for those impacts. Right. If you think about roads and bridges, um, that those are going to withstand and those can continue to provide access, that homes continue to provide a safe place for households. That work has been very diverse and it's been um, really rewarding. You know, engineers, we often think about them as sitting behind a computer and just doing calculations. But really, I'd say, you know, increasingly a role of a civil engineer is to interact with communities. It's really about trying to understand their constraints. And so, you know, the skill sets that we're often talking about in this um, is trying to understand and work across different cultures. If you're working internationally, that might require a language skill set to do that. And so it, it really goes beyond just the traditional, you know, math and science that we might traditionally think of engineering as. It's still there in the engineering. So we need to be technically competent first, um, but these other skills are often important for us to think about. A lot of my research looks at trying to build safer housing, but that's not necessarily just a technical problem. Um, it's intertwined with the social, the economic, environmental issues. We often think about you know, technology as the solution, and I guess what I would say to that is that technology has a role to play in building safer, more vibrant communities, um, but we need to think about how we implement that technology and blend it in a culturally appropriate way, in a way that's aligned with communities' priorities and their needs. Take up all the opportunities that are presented to you. The further I've gotten into my career in engineering, it's just continued to open up new doors. Whether that started out in a more traditional engineering sense um, on designing infrastructure, designing bridges, but that evolved, I think, with um, you know, the different directions and opportunities that presented themselves to me. And particularly, I'd say the more exciting ones that I've had recently, at a core, I'm still a civil engineer in terms of the skills that I'm applying, but the, the people and the ways that I'm able to do that are extremely diverse um, and I think that that's indicative of the field.